people. I'll show you weak dust people. So the Antom took over the outpost after the Grey Wardens abandoned it? Yeah. Ravane and the Canari were at peace forever. Then the Antom broke away from the Kune and invaded. The Canari builders are part of a different caste. They didn't break away. So the Antom take over old forts like this instead of building their own. Grapples, nets, the Antom are going after the Vincimer. Is that bad? She can deal with that, right? Not after I drugged her. Come on. They've been watching. They knew I drug her to make her sleep. Assholes! No! 
haven't seen us yet. We can run. Hey! I brought her down. She's mine by right. <laughs> Makara. Mara Namra Benari Ebala. Atash Martarost, Asitarala. Kyuto. Tarala. Come on. Better be ready. <laughs> Oh, you breathed fire. Yeah. But... how? Were we supposed to know this? Because I don't remember you doing it. We can talk later. Let me know when you're ready. I'll move the hands off the dragon. Does she know we're trying to help? No, she's pissed. We don't have to fight her, do we? We can run. I don't think she'll chase us. Safe to finish its nap, uninterrupted. Another was about to wake up. The surviving Antam poachers carried news of a fire-breathing Kunari back to their leader. Tosh and the team would soon find themselves being hunted by the Dragon King. Wonderfully done, Tash. While you played with the big scary dragon, we looted the shiny stuff from her cave. So, Rook, Varric talked about you. I see he wasn't making shit up this time. They call me Isabella, among other things. What did you find in the cave? A lot of dragon shit, gold, some fancy trinkets, and this. 
Oh, it almost looks like a rune. Does it do anything? Shit, I hope not. It conveys knowledge. While not as impressive as a magical explosion, it can still change the world. Rook, this is Shathan. She's our expert on Canari artifacts. This piece predates the Steel Age by centuries. It comes from an earlier attempt at settlement. One that left no survivors. You used your fire. What? No. Were you seen by the Antam? You promised you would be careful, Evatosh. You need to be away for a while. It is good you are joining Rook's team. I'm what? We're looking for a good dragon hunter. That would be you. Yeah. Our contact here said you'd agreed to join us. Didn't Shathan... I thought you and your mother had agreed on this. Nope. Whoops. Well, you'll work it out. You always do. For gold and glory, Tash. You're welcome back whenever. Rook, pleasure doing business with you. Mother, what did you do? I thought you would enjoy the chance to work with Rook's team. Do you not wish to stop these blighted dragons? Of course I do. I might have decided to join on my own. Maybe after you talk to me. I talked to you about not using your fire in front of the Antam. I will prepare potions for you to take. Would you prefer ginger or lavender? <sighs> the ginger. Hassam Vinek. Rook, you will keep her safe. Your mother doesn't mince words. I like that. Yeah, she's a lot. Anyway, welcome to the team. Might not be what you wanted, but we could really use the help. I'll get my stuff. Hey. It is. Sorry? Joining your team. It is what I wanted. Glad to hear it. Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. 
Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep. For gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. So why do the Lords of Fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies? Hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. I'd appreciate it if you avoided fencing any of the elven artifacts unless Bellara tells you it's okay. Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. Most of us shadow dragons are wanted for worse than theft. But if some lords are in it for themselves... Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. So your mother appraises Kunari artifacts the Lords of Fortune find? Yeah. She tells them how rare something is. How much it might be worth. Also tells them if they found something cultural. Cultural... You know, important. Stuff you don't want going to some rich nobles collection. The Lords send that stuff back to the Kunari in Parvalin. They pay the Lords a finder's fee. Interesting. The Lords do all this out of the goodness of their hearts? We do get paid. Name another job where you get danger pay for killing giant spiders. Right. For gold and glory. The Lords are good people. They helped my mother when she came here from Kantar. She got here with nothing but me and the clothes on her back. The only skill she had was Kunari history. The Lords gave her work. How does the Ravani Royal Guard feel about the Lords of Fortune? They used to complain about us. But that was before the Antam invaded Ravane. Hmm. And now, Ravane sees the benefits of having a bunch of heavily armed people on their side. Same for the Pirate Armada. It's bigger than Ravane's official navy. But we're also helping save old artifacts. The Antam are burning ruins as they move south. We get artifacts out before the Antam destroy them. Magical stuff. Cultural stuff. Stuff you don't want to lose. We should do this again. Grab a drink, share our tallest tales. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along, if you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. Alright, just let me know when.
Looks like the Dreadwolf finds his way just about everywhere. Ravain is on pretty good terms with the Dalish clans. We get Elven stuff here and there. Tosh, lords of fortune. They're treasure hunters, right? Yep. And that includes ruins? Elven ruins? Yep. I see. Okay. Sure. Okay. Those artifacts you find, you sell them? Some of them. The rest go to Shiv. Who's Shiv? Elven guy. He's from a Dalish clan that works with us. A clan works with you? Yeah. 
Should make sure we don't sell anything sacred to your people. I... Uh... Huh. Trouble coming. <laughs> oh! Everybody good?
know, about Chip. He examines ancient elven artifacts you find? Yeah. He tells us what not to sell because it's cultural. Or because it might blow up. How does he know? He's the... thing. What's the word? Like, my mother, but for elf stuff. He's the keeper for the Dalish clan? And the Lords of Fortune listen to him? Yeah. He pays us a finder's fee on stuff that should stay with his people. He also gives us a heads up about which floor tiles will set off fire traps or something. Hey, some for you, some for you. Hey, don't be a dick. That was for the little one. Stupid birds. I wasn't expecting... What? I don't know. You with the birds, it's... Uh, this is fun. Oh, good. Can I help? Sometimes I practice with the fire out here. It's safer. No people around. Lots of water. Is it magic, or...? It's not magic. My mother says the Kunara used to be closer to dragons. Something in our blood. The Antom called you... Adari? Yeah. Old Kunari word for fire breather. A few like me are born every generation. My mother thinks Adari were meant for something special. She's always looking through the old texts for clues. Come on. Don't want to scare the birds. My mother left the Kune not far from here. She got herself transferred to Kontar from Parvalin. Smuggled me there and then walked out. I thought Kontal was well fortified. How did she escape with the child? Lacune is in a prison. People can leave if they want. 
You little guys hungry? Do you miss living under the cune? Not much to miss. I was a baby. My mother misses it. She was an Ashkari back then. A scholar. Why'd she leave? Me. There's enough for all of you. Shathan was worried about what the Kanari would do with a fire breather like me. What would they do? She said they'd have me put in the Antom, use me as a berserker. The idea scared her enough that she left her library and walked away from the Kuhn. There you go. Come on. Over here's where I practice. Why not on the beach? Don't want to scare the birds. We just fed them. What the crap is that? The Anton must be marking their territory. Not on my beach. Vashvatari! Come on. These banners need to burn. I'm on it. Nice. What does it feel like when you breathe fire like that? It's more like spitting. Ew. Something inside my throat opens up and lets stuff mix together. Then there's this rush of heat as I roar it out. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt your mouth to do that. It can. One time my tongue got in the way. Got a mouthful of fire. Ooh, ouch. Eh, didn't hurt much. My mother has to make food extra spicy so I can taste it. Well, I guess that's the trade-off of being a fire breather. It's fine. I smell stuff better than most people. An on Tom supply cache. Too bad it's locked up. Not for long. Watch. Let's see if it burns. Wow. It burned right through it. Yep. Melt some metals, not all. How'd you figure out which kinds of metals you could melt? My mother said I went through a lot of spoons as a baby. This way. More birds to feed? Something like that. Karash, it's Tosh. I brought food. Avatash. It's good you came early. The feather clouds are getting lower. It's going to rain. Who is this with you? This is Rook. She's a friend. A friend? All right. Make sure you both dress for rain. Drip rain, not mist rain. What's the difference between drip rain and mist rain? Drip rain soaks through the clothes. Mist rain just wets the skin. Sorry, I don't know all the words in your language. No, uh, I get it. Karash was a worker caste navigator. Got dragged along with the Antam when they invaded. They told us it was ordered by the Kune. I was not taught war. I was taught the weather. Red clouds for thunder, gray clouds for rain, green clouds for the devouring storm, and black clouds for the Antam cannons. After what they did in Ventus, I ran away. Is there anything you need? We saw that the Antom were in the area. Yes. I knew some of them from the Dreadnought where I worked. I know places to hide. They did not see me. Let me know if they give you trouble. I am at peace, Avatash. I have the clouds to watch and fish to eat. More than just fish. Here you go. Shathan said to eat the fruit before it spoils. I like the cookies better. Everyone likes the cookies better. I'll eat the fruit. Thank you, Avatash. Bon hey done. I'll see you soon. So the dragon hunter has a softer side. The Kuhn says you take care of people. So 
You're a little Kunari, a little Rivaini, and a little dragon. Yeah. I get that. Come on. I should tell my mother how Karash is doing. So how do you get it? I had to leave most of my old life behind when I joined the Shadow Dragons. And now I'm fighting elven gods. So you take what works from each part, right? I... Yeah. I had to take Kunari language classes growing up. I had to learn how to tie these stupid knots. It wasn't so bad when the Kunari and Ravain were at peace. Now the Antom have broken from the Kune and started attacking. People look at me like they're scared I'll switch sides. That's their loss. People who've only ever been one thing will never know how big the world is. Yeah? Maybe. Mother, what are you doing here? You used to call me Tama. I also used to wet the bed. Want me to start that up again? I'd rather you didn't. Uh, not th that it's my business. She's not in my... Uh... She always did like the flustered ones. In truth... Evitasha's tastes are quite varied, although it is uncommon for her to be attracted to men. Mother. Perhaps because in some ways, she acts more like a man herself. Why are you here? I came to ask Karash about the tablet your group recovered. I wondered if some of the symbols might be used among the Antom. Be gentle. Don't make him talk about the war. I see the wisdom of your suggestion. I also see that you used your fire again, Chakra Toebra. Chakra Toebra. Remember to keep your consonants crisp. Kunari do not slouch, and neither does our language. Panahedan, Evitash. You did well bringing Karash his food. Sorry. She's like that. So, the flustered ones, huh? Huh. Well, thanks for coming. We should get back. Thanks for having me along. Maybe we can do this again. Right? Yep.
I wish I could breathe fire. I don't know, it just feels like the kind of thing that could be useful, you know? Sometimes it helps to burn through stuff. I wonder if we can make it go further or hotter. How long can you hold your breath? Not long. Healers say it's because breathing fire hurts my lungs. Oh, never mind then. Ready to fight.
right. Can't do this without a wisp. Yeah. 